Yo, um, I'm very sorry for my voice, please don't mind that shit. I've just got a rough couple of nights, if you know, you know, baby. But today, today, I'm going to show you the best client in Kruger. Whoa, you see that, right? That is the Benito CSS. You're right, you're right. I mean, it's almost the same, though. Yona made my, like, official CSS, but uh, she stopped. So I've met an amazing person called BI3LZ. I don't know if you say his name like that, but I... I I do it. <laughs> Either way, he remade the CSS, but um, unfortunately, it isn't possible anymore to get like a animated HP bar. But 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 if you want to have a cool CSS, just uh, just DM him. His Discord will be in the description. So uh, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. I o right now. I'm so happy that I'm already recorded like the showcase of the client before I went out because uh, now you don't have to listen to, to this shit. <laughs> First off, my general options. The client bind options are basically just your shortcuts. I believe I have everything on default but uh, here they are. Next up we have smart trading. With this option enabled, you can't immediately accept a bad trade. It gives you like a little timer so you know bad trade. So as you can see here on a other client, I accept this trade right away, even though it is a very bad trade. A other cool thing is auto screenshot. With this client, it makes automatically a screenshot of your scoreboard. So if you have a crazy game, you can just control V it in the chat and uh, show it off. Block spins just uh, blocks your spins so you don't waste any of your hard earned KR. On the Discord thingy, just turn everything on. If you're online on Discord, it just shows you you're playing the client. On graphics mode, I have turned on new flex. If you don't really know what flex are, um, I didn't know either, but uh, I know it now. It actually changes how the game renders or act in uh, certain things in the background. By combining different flags, you can make your gameplay much better. The right combination of flags is the difference between smooth, low latency and responsive gameplay or choppy and laggy gameplay. Thank you Best Buy, now, uh, now I know what flags are. Enabled unlimited FPS. This makes your game run so much better, just, uh, just turn it on. I have my angle background on wrap. Disabled use process GPU and I have my color profile on sRGB. I have all these turned on for better gameplay as well. Now graphics experimental. I have just turned on all my flags and all of the rest disabled. Now, now, very cool thing right here. <laughs> Easy CSS. The client has a lot, but like a lot of built-in CSSs. And they are all very, very good looking. You can also change the CSS of your social hub. And yeah, you can also import your own CSS. <laughs> You can select a custom screen background, loading screen, UI background, lost connection backgrounds, but I have all of them disabled. Now quality of life. I have fixed chat width enabled. This just makes your chat look better. A really cool feature is uh, enable selectable chat. Now, uh, yeah, <laughs> now I can select the chat. <laughs> I have auto spectate mode disabled, fixed pinger enabled and this just shows your real ping. Show player ping in alt menu enabled, show spec until enabled. This really helps when I'm spectating a sissy player. Here I can see all the information about the player and if it's just because he has a really shitty internet connection or if he just has a really good gaming chair. KPD phone fix enabled and disable CSS animations disabled. <laughs> UI tweaks. I have menu timer turned on and exit button is hidden. And I have hide all ads. I have clan color enabled. Some clans have uh, like a cool color. Enable badges. This is just so I can flex, not gonna lie. 
show PC7 users. If a person who plays on the client is in your game, they will have like the logo of the client on their profile. Very cool. And clear spectate mode disabled. This just helps you if you want to record or something. I don't know. All of the fun settings are disabled. I have made a video uh, on these settings called Curse Crinker. Check it out if you really want a video on uh, how fun it is. On utilities, I have everything turned on. Same as chat locks, this just locks your chat. You never know when you will need it. Ooh, if I right click on a name in the chat, it brings me to their profile. This is just what uh, this setting does. Nuke counter overlay enabled and this just uh, shows you how many nukes you have on screen. I really like it and uh, you can also set a new goal. It's currently set on 100 but uh, like soon on 200 because I am just one nuke away from my goal. I have it on the top in the middle, if you want it as well you can just copy my position right here. I have all my connection checker settings disabled, hyper quick join enabled. Um, I have only selected FFA and cranked, um, yeah. And these are the settings I use. I have my keystrokes disabled, but if you want it like this, just uh, copy my settings. KPD tools. I'm not in KPD. I want to get in KPD though, but that will probably never happen. But who knows? <laughs> but who knows? I, want just, I just want KPD, man. I have these settings right here, but... Uh, I can't use them because I'm not KPT. <laughs> Mailbox notifications are these settings right here and uh, I don't stream on Twitch so I have everything disabled here. That was it guys, I hope you all loved it and um, enjoy my 100 nuke on the client. I found the joint in mom's chest drawer.